My name is Margaret, and I'm 53 years old. I live in Morning View, Kentucky, and I'm addicted to stinging myself with bees. I sting myself on my hip, my elbow, on a finger, on my what ankle, my forehead, on the tip of my nose. The most I've ever given myself was between 15 and 20 in my left hip. I really love stinging myself with bees. But Margaret they die, so you're just killing them. What the fuck is wrong with you? ...has been addicted to bee stings for the past 10 years. Okay. Her addiction you're started... ripping their insides out. ...innocently as a way to relieve her arthritis. In search of relief from the pain, Margaret turned to the beehives in her backyard. I had read how people have been using it to relieve certain pain symptoms. The first time that I stung myself, it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. And it just got easier every time. <sighs> but what started as an occasional prick of pain for medical reasons has spiraled into 15 stings a day. There's a couple trigger points right here that I like to sting. Kind of put a little dent in it with my fingernail. The I gently tap it on the abdomen. And the dog's like, she is a fucking crazy bitch. Get me out of here. And it comes away like that. She's always had kind of a taste for looking at the odd side of things. At this point now, with 15 stings a day, that's when I'm starting to get really concerned about this. <sighs> Poor bees, what the fuck? Oh, what's this? My name is Kaylin. I'm 18 years old. I live in Sacramento, California, and I'm addicted to eating plastic. I've eaten 12 remotes, over 5,000 beads, over 1,000 cocktail swords, 100 forks, about 10 water- Oh, not the forks, not the forks. Bottles, two pacifiers. Pacifiers? What the fuck? Three CD cases, about 50 hangers, about 25 plastic lids on to-go cups. Kaylin has eaten plastic every day for 11 years. Why do you, why, uh, do you just like sit uh, in the lounge and just chew on the remote and then you go, Hey mom, we need a new remote. I just fucking ate that one. Where are your coat hangers? Oh, I ate them. Let's go get more. Plastic is something I want and I feel like I need. She has you don't consumed need over it. 150 pounds of plastic and even chooses it over food. It's not the taste of plastic that I love. It's the way it crunches and feels and it's a rough but at the same time smooth texture to it. How is her appendix? Because that surely is gonna inflate soon. Ugh. Texture of a remote control is one of her favorites. I'll take a button <laughs> off. Fuck. And then I'll kind of like put it on each side of my mouth. And then I swallow it. How's this bitch not dead? I left I'm a hostess years. at a restaurant and I get a lot of my plastic from there. My favorite kind of plastics are the little cocktail swords that you get in your drink. On a normal, non-stressful day, it'd be a whole sword 15 times a day. What the fuck does she get through that? The fact I that I am eating this much in a week is huge. Whoa, that's crazy, bro. Face mask, sand. Drinking paint, yay! Just full of them. Um... My name is Natasha. I'm 40 years old. And I'm addicted to eating clay masks. It tastes wonderful like wet rocks. 
and it always comforts me. I kind of go into a zone and savor that flavor of that earthiness. Mm. Damn, she's packing it in there. Natasha has been addicted to eating clay face mask for seven years. She's so hooked that she consumes up to a jar a day and even replaces meals with it. I mean, to be honest, she could probably replace meals with it because once she, like, drinks water or anything, it will, like... Wouldn't it go solid in her stomach? Or once it hits the stomach acid, it would just be like... I don't know how it works. Never learned about humans consuming face masks. What I eat starts off in a very fine powder. Sort of like when you get sand in your mouth. When she first mentioned it to me, I thought it was a, a joke at first. Like, I mean, come on now, you eat what? It <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'll take a big scoop, sometimes I'll take a little bit, it just depends. But Natasha doesn't just eat the face mask straight out of the jar. She also dips chips in it and even relaxes every evening with clay mask and a beer. I always just see the after effect. You know, the lips are covered and she does the stain with her tongue when she licks it off. What is all this? Nothing. Oh, look at that. It's a <laughs> dust storm. <laughs> Despite the mess, Natasha is so dependent on her face mask, she won't leave home without a stash. If I'm leaving, I'll take a jar. I couldn't drive without it. I have taken a jar to work. They just shake their head and just make me feel so strange. Natasha turned to clay face masks seven years ago to satisfy a taste for rocks. I had a girlfriend who said that she had cravings like that. She says, put a little of this on your tongue. And so I tried it. And it was like instant cold. Instant cold. Maybe I should try it. And then I'll be like, wait a minute. She was right all along. It is amazing. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs>